welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be building a very simple user registration program in Python, complete with first name, surname and password. I'll also be showing you how to hide that password so that no one can see it when you register. And this is the first part of uh, other parts where I'll be slowly building up um, a login screen, you know, um, other areas, you know, if you've lost your password and things like that, just so you can really have a great, decent set of code for a start of building a very good program. So let's get started. <clears throat> so this is what we have. If we run it, this is our output. So you have a new user registration screen, first name, input box, last name, input box, password, an input box where the values are stars so you can't see what they are. Then we have two buttons, a quit and a register button. So let's quit for now and go to the code. So this is the code. Let's type in uh, user registration because that's what this is. The first thing we're going to do is import tkinta as tkr and then we're going to create our screen. And then we're going to create a blank list. I'm just going to call it user list, just by you know, typing in user list equals, and then this is our blank list. First thing you want to do is edit this master window where everything's going to go into. And we're going to call it user registration. Type in master.title, as in so, master.title. And you get a list here. And then type in whatever you want to call that window and then type in master.geometry to change the size of the window and just change the numbers to alter to the size that you want. The next thing to do is to create these labels here and this label here. So one, two, three, four. And that is simply by typing in tkr.label and then you assign it to a master, to this master tab here and give it a title and then choose where you want it. So what you simply do is type in tkr.label, type in whatever you put up here, and then whatever text you want. Make sure you have quotation marks around the text. And then to assign it, you can either grid it or pack it. I prefer grid, it makes it look nicer in my opinion. And you can put it into row, you can change the column. But in this case, for the first one, I put it as column span equals two, because I wanted to go across two columns. If you see here, it goes across both and sort of nicely formats it so it's in the middle of them both as well. And then for the first name, I've stuck it to row one, uh, last name, row two, and then password, row three and automatically does it to column zero. The next thing to do is to create your input boxes. And quite simply, you just type in E1 equals tkr.entry, because entry is another way of saying input box in this case. And then you're going to assign it to this master template here. And then same thing for the second input box for your last name. And same thing for your password box, except you want to hide the password. You type in show equals and then star from whatever you want. So you can put this here and instead of stars, it will have um, hashes. But this is how you hide your password in a text box or in an input box is you put show equals and then uh, whatever you want to hide it with, whatever character or number or uh, symbol you want to hide it with. The next thing to do is to grid our input boxes to make it look nice and make it match whatever label we chose. And that's by typing row equals and column equals. Um, so it's like the same we did, you know, you type in you know, E4 equals grid row equals one, or let's say four column equals one and then you'll grid that 
here into uh, you know into the master file into the master um, window and if you want to but be sure to have uh, a box that it can be gridded to because e4 here means nothing so you need to create e4 if you wanted to add an extra one you know tkr.entry and so on but I don't want to do that so let's get rid of that and the next thing to do, what I do is I often I create the button first and then I decide what I want the button to do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I think it's much easier that way rather than trying to have a de uh, trying to create a function without um, having the button. I prefer having the other way around, getting the layouts all sorted and then in adding the functionality afterwards. So let's do that. Let's complete this layout. Let's do the button. So let's firstly start with the register button. So you type in, you know, tkr.button master, if you want to cite the master uh, window, width 7, height 1. You can play around with that to, to however you want it to look. Change the text to register, and then you need the command equals, uh, and then I put call 1, and then later on we're going to create the function call 1, which I've already done here. But when you create it, you won't yet have this bit here. So you can just call it wherever you want or leave it uh, and then come back to it when you've finished creating the layout. Then you grid it, you then you grid the button to wherever you want it. And then exactly the same thing with the quit button, except with the quit button, you can just type in the, what you want to do here, command equals master.destroy. And destroy basically gets terminates the whole program and its roots. So it basically goes top to bottom, stopping everything. And then you can grid that as well. And then make sure at the bottom you have tkr.main loop, otherwise it won't run. So that is very, very important because it won't run otherwise. So once you've created your, uh, your buttons, um, it's good to see if you can have a look at it, you know, run it, and you should get something like this, except the only thing that will work this time is probably the quit button. You may get some, you may, you probably be able to enter some uh, words here. You can check whether the password is hidden. There you go, you can see that the password is hidden there. Uh, you can change the size of the box manually, but um, that only makes a difference now. When you rerun it, it'll go back to its uh, specified geometry. Uh, but the only button that rule that should work is quit. Quit will work as well. So you press quit and then it will activate this command master.destroy because what you've done is you've written the function in the button one, in the button one command. Actually, I should probably call that button two. We run it again just to make sure. There we go. Brilliant. <clears throat> So next thing to do is to create the function. So I've made sure you, you have the command function for bottom one equal to the name of the function, otherwise it will not work. And so what you want to do here is I've just want what I've done is I've created a separate window to tell you that your account has been created. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've done it so that you have one window, your master window, and then when you press this button, it opens up another window. So what you want to do is remember the list we created up here, the black list, is you want to basically populate that with the first name, last name, and the password. And then <clears throat> uh, here, that's a bit unnecessary. You don't need that, but I've put the print command in just so you can see in the console that the values have been stored in the list. Because this is a blank list, you can't see it. So I put the print command in so you can see it. Um, next thing to do is to create your user verification, uh, your new window itself. So tkr.tk will create that new window. Again, specify its title and geometry, exactly like you did with the master. And then this time, I'm just very simply, I'm going to add a label saying your account has been created and then grid it again. Exactly the same as in here except without the column span. <clears throat> so now let's run this and see if it has worked. So the final part is testing. <clears throat> so we have our 
user registration here. So let's type in our um, first name, I'll call analyst, and then our last name, rising, and then let's type in a password. Let's call it 1111, and let's press register. So when we press register, hopefully what will happen is a new window will appear and we will be able to see that uh, the user list uh, created up here, the blank user list list has been populated with the <coughs> values in the input boxes. So let's see. Here we go. So we have our new uh, screen created here and our values have been populated here. You see analyst rising and then 1111. That's brilliant. That's really good. Now, how you populate that list here, how we got this list to be populated is just by simply using the get command. So you just type in the name of the input box, which is E1, E2, E3, and then you just type in e1.get, e2.get, e3.get. And so every time you run this command, you'll populate it with that um, set of values. So this is one username, one password, one, yeah, one username, one password. And then you press it again, and this will be a second username, password. In fact, we can actually do that again if you want. So let's just keep it simple. Let's put analyst rising analyst two rising two, and let's call this two 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 two. Let's type register again. And you can see here, analyst rising one 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 has been recorded, and analyst two rising to two 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 has been recorded. So here we are. We are populating a list of user accounts, which then can be used for verification and login uh, purposes. So I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Um, subscribe if you like it. There'll be lots more coming, and I'll just be expanding on this to basically create a great uh, login system for whatever software you're creating, or just for your own knowledge. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. More on its way, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.